Hey everybody, Tom Darling here. And what we're going to do today on Maker Logic is we're going to make a wall unit for my mother in law. So stick around and I'll show you exactly how it's done. This is the old TV cabinet. As you can see, it's oak and very dated. Let's get rid of it. Now that we've got these pieces cut into 15 and 3 quarters, we're going to cut them down to length. Now that we've got our sides cut up to six feet tall, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the tops and the bottoms for the horizontal part of the shelf for the center section at four feet and then the outside cabinets are going to go on the other side. And now what we're going to do is put pocket holes in every single one of the horizontal boards so that we can then attach it together. Now through the magic of video editing, all of our pocket holes are done in our three horizontal pieces for the 48 inch center section and for the two 24 inch sections that are going to go with the drawer stacks on the outside edge.
Here's what we need to make the first frame. Our three horizontal rails, our drawer rails, our two full height styles, face frame styles, and our screws. And now we're gonna put it together. You can see we've got our face frames on, we've got our boxes built, and now the next step is we're going to make drawers, drawer fronts, doors, the barn doors, we're going to get shelves put in this, we're going to get trim made, and then we're going to stain it and finish it. So now it's time to make our drawers for the cabinets. As you can see here, I have pre-cut all of the drawer boxes. The sides are going to be 15 inches deep, and the fronts of the drawers are one inch less than the size of the opening. That allows for the half inch on each side for the full extension drawer glides that we're gonna put on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all of these, we're gonna run a groove in them to accept the bottoms, and we're also gonna cut our 1 8 inch plywood down to the width of the drawers so that we can go ahead and get started on getting these drawers put in. So we put a small dado blade onto the table saw. We've measured our width that we want to come across on the bottom of the board to accept the channel for the bottom of the drawer. So now we're going to take this and we're going to run it through and then we're going to test fit it. Hey everybody, now we're at the part of the project where we're going to put the drawers together. So what I've done is I've cut all of our drawer sides and all of our drawer fronts and backs and all of our drawer bottoms on the table saw. All of our drawer sides and bottoms, or sorry, drawer sides and tops and fronts have all received a channel cut into them to receive this piece. These are all cut to length, these are all cut to length. And what I've done is i put pocket holes in all of the drawer fronts and drawer backs so that we can put the drawers together. Just like that, we have our drawer. These are our fronts, our 
bottoms in. Our pocket holes are secured on all the way around. And we have a drawer. Now all we have to do is do this a bunch more times and then we'll put the, put the drawer glides on and put it in the cabinet. So to put on the drawer glides, we're going to use this Craig Drawer Glide and Drawer Jig. Now the way this works, it's simple angle, there's one for both sides. Uh, it's got these adjustments on the top to pull out and one on the side. You can use them on frame or frameless cabinets. Now this is a framed cabinet and we're using three uh, full extension drawer glides on here. So we extend this out of the top, this one on the side, and what it does is it lays right here, right along the frame, and pushes against the side of the cabinet, just like so. And then we take the clamp, and we clamp it. It's nice and perpendicular. And then what happens here is it gives us a perfect line to our drawer track. For our cabinet directly on here to locate and mount it for the hardware of the drawer. Here are the two barn doors that are going to go on the bottom of the cabinet. As you can see, what I've done is I've used 1x4 material, which should be pocket hole joined in the back. A brand new 1x4 material around the center where I've got pallet wood that we put in. It'll be attached inside the frame around for both of these doors. These are going to be the barn doors, and they look really, really sweet. Here are the doors for the top section. Same frame as the bottom section, only difference is we have corrugated metal panels in the inside, which my mother-in-law loves. So here we are, complete, finally, after all that work, this is the finished product of the long unit TV cabinet for my mother. As you can see, we've got our metal panel doors up here at the top, our barn doors down here at the bottom. And they slide open to reveal a really nice storage shelf. And also up here at the top, we've got this hardware here that got these in place. So plenty of storage up here in this upper section as well. This is going to show you the hardware that we use on the drawers. It's a really simple pull. Two screw, one and a half inch pull. And as you can see, when we pull the drawers out, we get full extension. Also up here at the top on the drawers, we've got this nice little pull up here. 
And by the way, these pulls are available in the description box below from Amazon. And they were only about $3.50 a piece. So that's it. You want to do the very same thing. It's not that hard to do. Keep watching our channel. Please like, share, and subscribe our videos. We love it when you come here. We're going to make more projects like this. Thanks for sticking it out. And stay tuned for the next one.